Ashish and uh, from today onwards I am going to discuss uh, black book organic chemistry. Uh, the black book organic chemistry is actually having 40 papers uh, approaching to IIT J advanced level. All questions so what we have framed from authentic sources right. Uh, no question is cut or paste from any book. Uh, all questions we have framed only from the theory part and uh, in the black book uh, all 40 papers are cumulative papers means uh, we have covered all topics right uh, there, there is no paper uh, particularly focus on uh, one particular topic uh, like like suppose like alkyl halide or aldehyde or ketones not like that all uh, concepts of entire organic chemistry we have mixed right so uh, we like uh, tried a lot to frame the question in a different manner uh, and uh, the questions are in the boundary of IIT J only. So I am going to start uh, papers in sequence only, right? First paper I have already discussed. So today I am going to start uh, with paper 2, right? So paper 2, uh, this is paper 2 and uh, the section 1 is one or more than one answer. And uh, in sections, we have clearly men mentioned that a uh, question is one or more than one answer correct. Uh, we have four options, right? First question is choose the correct statement or statements regarding given reaction scheme, right? So in this question, uh, we have clearly like mentioned correct to word, right? In the same pattern of IIT, IIT always mention in bold letters whenever they use the word correct or incorrect, or does not, do not, they always mention in bold letters right so uh, choose the correct statement or statements regarding given reaction scheme here we have one reaction scheme in this reaction scheme uh, we have given one uh, reactant m with the molecular formula c9h16o2 and the compound is acyclic itj always uh, like uh, give the clear instruction suppose the acyclic compound they will never hide the uh, like things that the compound is acyclic they always give the clear instruction okay, what we are giving this is acyclic compound and here you have challenge now you solve right so instruction you always uh, read uh, very carefully molecular formula is mentioned finally what the reactant you are going to get uh, by solving the question that a reactant must match with the molecular formula you please remember this and then we have one aqueous koh with the heating sign right and the uh, product what we are getting is n major and which is further reacting with naoh i2 then filtration with hcl we are getting this product so finally the product is the uh, key for this question this product will only help you to find the reactant m c9 h16 o2 right okay this is the one thing after uh, reading this uh, scheme we should always read all four options in IIT whenever uh, suppose uh, you solve any IIT JE question uh, you must have the nature to read the question from one first alphabet to last alphabet right don't think it just by reading the question you should uh, start the uh, start writing the solution it should not be like that we should always read the entire question from alphabet first alphabet to last alphabet of the fourth option d right options are m has a chiral center with absolute configuration s about m n can show geometrical isomerism okay the c option is the precipitate which filtered off in above scheme has s4 element of symmetry means the alternate axis of symmetry d option m has eight carbons in its principal chain with the locant at fourth position okay okay now focus on the reaction scheme this is the key right and now in this question we have to move backward from the product right okay as you see this naoh i2 and here carboxylic acid immediately we must get idea here idoform reaction is going to proceed if idoform reaction is going to proceed we know that generally for idoform reaction the required reactant is methyl keto right when methyl keto uh, react with NaOH I2, this CS3 part will become Ci3 and uh, when OH finally attack on carbonyl, that will become like iodoform. 
Na first it will become Ci3 and the final attack of NaOH like this will release a Ci3 minus that will become CHI3 after taking the H from this carboxylic acid and the carboxylic acid right now existing as a salt sodium carboxylate right so this is the way so just by seeing this NaOH I2 and this carboxylic acid we got idea ki okay this compound this compound should be like this this compound must have the situation like methyl keto and this methyl keto when react with NaOH and I2 that will become the same compound what is mentioned in reaction scheme right if this CH3 will become CI3 that CI3 will become CHI3 and here we'll get the carboxylic acid salt so the situation is the N compound should be this one this is the compound N right now this N compound what we got from aqueous KOH now by seeing this aqueous KOH and the product condition it clearly looks like ki, uh, this is a uh, uh, aldol condensation product if you if you are uh, like uh, able to like identify the compound this is aldol condensation product right this one is alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound if this is aldol condensation product now you should know the idea how to go back from aldol condensation product to the carbonyl reactant how to go uh, towards a reactant side so just uh, simply if i go with the simplest idea like uh, if we break this double bond right and uh, left part is only having carbon right part is having carbon with a ketone what does it mean the meaning is where we have this ketone part a meaning is a right side part is ketone part left side part is simply having carbon so ketone part it means ke here we should give H2 left side I should give like oxygen so that we will get the reactant like this this keto this side keto and one methyl and here we are getting this CH2 right CH2 and this uh, CO and CH3 now if you simply think about this aldol condensation what the idea you are getting this alpha h remove we get anion right and that anion will attack on this carbonyl that will become pi shift and will become oh right again one more anion give a backup to this and remove this oh will get the double bond i think you are getting my point how to proceed aldol condensation first remove this alpha h create one anion that anion will attack here this pi bond will shift we will get here OH one more one more H removed will get again anion now give backup remove this OH by E1CB mechanism you will finally get this aldol condensation product right that is why where the right side already we have carbonyl means alpha H gone from this side here oxygen is not there it means here we have double bond O first become OH second time it removed by E1CB mechanism so this should be the reactant M now please match this reactant with the molecular formula mentioned here C9H16O2 this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and this one is 9 nitrogen oh sorry carbon are 9 only hydrogen if you check 3 2 5 1 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and 2 oxygen right means uh, the reactant is matching with the molecular formula c9 and 16 o2 regarding m if you go with the first option m has a chiral center absolutely m is having chiral center there here we have one chiral center with absolute configuration s that we need to check in this car chiral center the first priority goes to this valency because after one carbon we have carbon with oxygen they should get second priority the methyl should get third priority and the hydrogen should get the fourth priority so one two three yes absolutely this is having s configuration so option a is correct n can show geometrical isomerism this n compound regarding this n they are asking this will show geometrical isomerism it will never show geometrical isomerism 
how it will show geometrical isomerism you see around this double bond if you are checking here we have this one terminal this is second terminal and this is cyclic system suppose these two valencies are okay a uh, rotation restricted system is here each terminal is having two different different valencies but they will never change because this is the locked cyclic system suppose this methyl and keto are on the same side they will be on the same side they won't change now right so there is no geometrical isomerism here and b option wrong the precipitate which filtered off in above scheme has s4 element of symmetry means regarding this chi3 they are asking ki chi3 is having s4 element of symmetry how okay i'll tell you one easiest idea how to check the uh, like uh, s4 element of symmetry i am telling you this uh, s4 symmetry with example of methane first right methane suppose here we have one cube here we have one box actually right so this is one cube i'll just copy this cube right now now i'll write methane here this is carbon 1 h here here we have this is second h here we have third h here we have fourth h right 1 h 2 h third h and fourth h now if i rotate this cube by 90 degree angle so if i rotate this cube this molecule methane Uh, by this uh, y axis by 90 degree angle this edge will come here right this edge will go there that edge will come here this edge will go there right and this will be the situation after 90 degree rotation right mean here 90 degree rotation now axis is y axis so perpendicular to y we should draw the mirror image now they will come on the top side a here only because this is the mirror image they will come on the top side and the top hydrogen they'll come on the bottom side right and it'll come like this this is the situation now this compound is exactly a replica of the initial initial given compound right it means compound is having alternating axis of symmetry alternating axis of symmetry how we find just uh, take one imaginary axis rotate the compound by in particular angle and draw the perpendicular image if the image is exactly superimposable on the given compound the compound is having alternating axis of symmetry that is sn right now sn is equal to 360 by the theta by which you rotate the compound so here we have 360 by 90 the meaning is here we have s4 alternating axis of symmetry so methane is showing alternating axis of symmetry s4 if one if a 3h you replace by 3 iodine only one h is there all 3h replaced by iodine then only you will get the product is chi3 if you 3h replace by iodine 1h is there the compound is totally unsymmetrical there is no meaning of having alternating axis of symmetry in s4 right so this option can never be right m has 8 carbon in its parent chain with a locand at fourth position 8 carbon okay parent chain 1 2 3 you see 1 2 3 4 5 Six, seven, eight. Absolutely eight carbon, and we should start numbering from any of the corner. But we need to select the corner. We uh, from the corner functional group. First functional group must get the lowest priority. So if you whether you start from this way or this way, in both the way you will get functional group at second position. 
it means this is not the main criteria then again you move forward right after function of what is left over part side chain side chain is coming closer from this corner so i sh I, I should start numbering from this corner only so 1 2 3 and 4 absolutely the locant is on the fourth position so option d is also correct so finally for this question option a and option d are the final answer this is the question right so uh, i think everyone got this question how to solve uh, such type of question when product is given we should move back right just by having some basic idea of the reagents so i think everyone got clarity in this <coughs> question so in my next video i'll discuss the second question right thank you everyone